Well, 20 years are not a long tenure in the history of humankind, but what has been achieved in reducing child labor is remarkable. I could recall that how millions of people came on the streets, especially the children and young people saying no to child labor. I still remember those slogans uh, which were resounding in this building when hundreds of young people, victims of slavery, trafficking, child labor, uh, forced labor, they entered with the slogans, no more tools in tiny hands, we want books, we want toy and toys, no more child labor, we want education. And the world had listened to those children. And that was the beginning of the march in 1998. And today we know that how the number of child laborers has decreased from more than 250 million to 152 million. We have also seen that a uh, larger number of children were able to go to schools. We have also seen uh, progress um, in restoring uh, child rights and human rights in many countries uh, during these 20 years. So a lot of has been achieved, but it is not enough. If the world can reach out to Mars, why can't we reach out to every single child who is in danger? Why can't we reach out to a child who is working in a field or in a farm or in a factory or at any workplace to ensure the freedom, dignity, uh, rights, education and dreams of that child? It is very much possible and we will do it. I understood through my fight against child labor in India and South Asia that it is not an isolated problem of, problem of one or another country. It has to be tackled globally. So on one hand, we have to build a strong social movement. But on the other hand, we have to have strong laws. And our demand was uh, ILO Convention against the worst forms of child labor. And uh, the politicians, the workers, uh, employers, civil society organizations, faith leaders listened to those children those days and finally we had uh, been successful. We want education. We want education. No more tools in tiny hands. We want books. We want child. Thank you.